Hey there, my name is Brent and I'm the founder and owner of Canis Behavior and Training. And if you're watching this video, you probably had some questions on group classes. Group classes are probably one of the most budget friendly, but still very progressive ways of getting your dogs trained. If you guys have the time and the energy to be able to commit to courses and workshops on a weekly basis, group classes will be so much fun for you. One of my favorite things about group classes is what I call peer learning. So this means not only do I get to learn from my instructor, but I get to learn from the successes and the failures of my classmates as well. I get to watch other people with their dogs. I get to experience things that maybe my dog's not doing yet, but might do later in the future. And through that process, you learn how to handle things that other people in that class are dealing with. The second thing I love about group class is how it creates a community. I can have up to 10 to 15 different people in a class and by the end of it, they're all friends, the dogs like each other, they love each other, they're having a blast with each other, they even hang out outside of class, which makes me feel real cool because I feel like I'm a puppy matchmaker sometimes. But in all seriousness, group class is extremely fun as long as your dog fits the requirement. Now, what requirements would not make your dog suitable? Well, sometimes a group class environment can be extremely stressful for some dogs who might have fear aggression or might be nervous or might be reactive. You know, if your dog doesn't have a decent food drive, for example, if they're stressed out, out in public will not take food, group class might be a difficult course for you guys to take at that time. So if that is the case, I always recommend getting some fundamentals down with your dog, maybe in private training, and then eventually integrating into higher level group classes. So let's talk about what group classes we offer. We have six week courses, both a basic obedience and an intermediate obedience. What the basic obedience is, it is fundamentals of learning. Teaching our dogs how to learn, teaching our dogs how to play, and teaching our dogs basic cues. The second class, the intermediate class, is how we take that obedience and we apply self-control, patience, relaxation exercises so that we can teach our dogs how to make better decisions out in public and in our home, most importantly, around high-level distractions. We also have skill-based workshops. For example, we have workshops that are just about walking our dogs on a leash, making sure that they're not pulling, they're not choking, they're not jumping at people, they're not going after dogs, etc. We have obedience workshops where we teach different levels of obedience. We can teach uh, basic commands all the way to more extreme tricks. We also have play workshops. It's crazy for me, as a dog trainer for almost 15 years, how many people don't have a really strong play relationship with their dog? They have a very strong cuddle relationship, but not necessarily do they have a good play relationship, meaning their dogs don't really know how to fetch, they don't know how to tug, they don't know frisbee, they don't know how to wrestle, they don't know how to play games with their own dog. And for me, being a dog lover and doing that stuff since I was a young kid, I made a class specifically just for teaching people how to play with their dogs. And then in the more extreme realms of behavior, we actually have behavior modification classes where we talk about leash reactivity, separation anxiety, dog-to-dog -dog aggression, socialization tactics. So we have workshops to help people focus in on areas of weakness that they might have with their dog. Now here's a couple reasons why picking a group class may not be the best option for you. If you have a really demanding, irregular schedule, meaning sometimes you work on the weekends, sometimes you work on the weekdays, it may be really difficult for you to keep a scheduled appointment every single week for six weeks. However, we do have our skill-based workshops that are only two to three weeks back to back. So they're shorter periods of commitment with more focused education on that subject matter. Second reason group classes might not be the best thing for you. If your dog's behavior is so severe, for example, lunging, aggression, excessive leash reactivity, dog aggression, human aggression, group classes may not be the best environment for your dog to start learning in. So as I said earlier, perhaps start with private training and work your way into group class as your dog's fundamental skills get stronger and stronger. The last thing we want as trainers is for your dog to be in an environment where they're constantly failing. So I really hope that this video was helpful. If you guys have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact me or my team, and we will get back to you as soon as we possibly can to answer those questions. Again, my name is Brent. I'm the owner and founder of Canvas Behavior and Training, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.